Hello, my name is Gabriel from Kava QSA. In this video, we are going to see getting the right RAM. So in this case, if you don't know uh, what type of RAM your computer takes, or maybe you're going to a customer and you don't know what to do, or maybe you're not very sure and you want to know, okay, I want to go and do a very professional job and uh, I don't want to do like a trial and error and other things so here I'm going to teach you all those things as, um, as usual this is not my uh, this is not my first class so if you want to start from the beginning so that way you can get your CompTIA A plus so this is a certification for technician so if you want to start from the beginning that would be great so here we are going to continue with the prior video on the all the information that I've been teaching up about this so in this case maybe I have a, a RAM, a motherboard with RAM and everything so in this case I'm touching it like that uh, but it doesn't matter because this motherboard is fried the RAM is, is obsolete so I, I don't care but like I said before my other videos if you're going to start uh, installing a, a motherboard or whatever else whatever it is electronics just make sure to use gloves antiseptic gloves or you can use the wristband the, for the anti-static so for the static and that way you're not going to damage anything so like i said before go uh, you can go and check my other videos otherwise you can leave me in the section below all the comments and i'll try to reply you also if you want you can buy one of my my classes so uh, here in, in this case we are going to teach you the basic step, steps, I mean one, the easiest one would be, okay, look inside of your computer case. So if you if you have the computer, it maybe it's handy, you can take it apart, you can see whatever, whatever is inside and you're going to find this kind of thing. So in this case it's a motherboard. As, as you can see we have the, the RAM. So I'm going to show you here we have the RAM and usually it comes with a different slot so in this case i'm going to remove one of the rams so if you have a system with one just one stick and maybe the computer is slow or something like that you can add another one so i'm going to tell you the thing that you have to keep in mind in order to have a stable computer that will not crash and that it will run for many many years without any issues so the third uh, thing like i said you can take inside of the computer case that is cool let's say that your computer maybe is not in a very good uh, place and, and it's going to be a hassle to take it out so before doing that i'm going to teach you how to use a few apps in order to see what type of ram or maybe if you are uh, providing tech support remotely you can tell to the customer okay uh, give me the team viewer access and i'll try to see what kind of motherboard you have and we will see uh, the the ram that we can install so that way when you go to the customer you go with the right a memory RAM and you can install it uh, you won't have any issue and another thing that you can do is uh, you can check the manual so I'll show you later on 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 the computer so now in a little bit when I show you how to use this kind of app I'm going to show you how to see on in the manual in, in the manual so that way you can see what type of memory you, you should you can you can start so basically when i mean the motherboards they are very flexible you can say okay maybe i have a kingston maybe i have occ or maybe I have another brand and yes you can mix them up maybe you can use one speed and you can use another speed and they will work different brand usually works no problem but if you want to uh, be if you want to be very uh, very sure i mean 100 percent sure that the computer will run stable and you don't want to uh, start tri uh, trial and error like i said before or testing and say oh yeah i guess the computer will work fine and maybe after a few days the customer say hey i'm getting a blue screen of death of death or maybe the computer is not working as fast as, as before or something like that i'm going to give you a few tips here that are very important for instance the speed when you buy a, a RAM, it's the same with hard drives. If you or if you're going to do it like a RAID one, RAID zero, or anything like that, so I'm going to talk about that in another videos. I have a few videos about that. Anyway, go to the playlist or go to the magnify glass, and you can search for my other videos. So the speed. So let's say that you have one 
one RAM that is 100 and you have another uh, another RAM that is 133 okay so if you mix them up or or do something like that you, the the motherboard I mean the the memory will run on at the lowest speed so let's say maybe you have DDR3 one is 20, 20 like I said 2100 and the other one is one uh, 16 66 and okay the computer the computer will choose the slowest one the, the same with the hard drive so if you're if you have a hard drive and you want to do like a raid zero raid one or something like that always will go with the slowest one always will take the the smallest uh, capacity so with the capacity here in, in this case yes maybe you can mix up uh, maybe one stick of four gigs and the other one will be two gigs yeah you will have six gigs it may work but uh, like i said if you, if you want to go just 100 percent sure no trial no testing or anything like that try to follow what the manual says and you will be okay also the latency if you have like a super speed uh, super fast uh, uh, ram and you install another one that is kind of so so or is normal uh, you, the computer will run to the slowest one it will not go to the fastest one the the slowest run will not go as fast as the other, as the other one also another thing that you have to think is brand and model so if you have one one, one ram in this case i have this this ram is like a generic brand i think i'm going to try to show you let's see i hope you can see okay the brand is spectic so the is is unknown brand but uh let's say that you want to buy another one just like like, like that the same model and the same specs so that that way uh, you won't have any issue uh, also you will not be spending more uh, money than is required because i mean if you are going to buy like a very expensive and the other one is a normal run it, it makes no sense so basically that is what you have to to keep in mind also i'm going to show you in um, right now in linux mac and windows a computer so that way you can use some kind of software in order to detect what the, the computer is using and that way you can go ahead and do the change so now let's change let's change i'll show you the computer here we are on the computer so as you can see we have an asus uh, in this case is a g751jm so as you can see we have 8 gigs 4 gigs 8 gigs and 4 gigs so we have four slots basically i'll i'll try to zoom in so that way you can see it so 8484 so uh, the total amount that we can add in this system will be 32 gigs as you can see here it says four slots two uh, two banks of two banks so if you want to add more ram in this case here you can add two gigs four and a little of everything so it, it will be i'm going to try to zoom out uh, so the way you can see everything so you can see we have 16 so if you want to buy two by eight gigs so that way you can get everything so the good thing about this site uh, you have to download an, an app so once you download the, the app i'll try to leave the link in the video description as usual so it will detect what kind of computer you have and um, basically you can add a ram that, that will improve your speed a lot also the the hard drive in this case is solid state drive so if you can replace it that would be great so you can do everything in one side let's say that maybe you don't have internet or something like that maybe you have some issue with your network so here if, you, if that is the case i'm going to show you one app that you can download and have it in your sham drive so when you go to customers uh, and even if they don't have internet at least you can know something so in this case as you can see we are using cpu z so we have ddr3 24 gigs of ram here you will see the frequency as you can see we we see the latency 
and, and at least base uh, that is the the basic information that you're going to get here if you want to see the motherboard so that way you can maybe search online if you don't have enough information and here you have the cache and you have the cpu uh, and all those things so now i'm going to zoom out so that way i can show you linux so in this case we have this command so if you type sudo dash i and then l s h w space dash uh, short space dash c uppercase memory i'll try to leave everything in the video description and on linux you can have i mean at least you can see some information in this case you're not going to see everything because uh, I'm, I'm using a virtual machine but if you have a regular computer you should be able to see everything so now I'm going to try to show you in in a Mac so that way if you have a Mac I'll, that way if you have a Mac I'll show you right now so let's jump in on my computer so as you can see here we're going to close the viewer so okay so as you can see if you want to see the, the RAM that you have, I'm going to zoom in so that way you can see a little bit better. So here I have a Mac Pro late 2013, six, six cores, uh, 64 gigs of RAM, internal SSD. So this computer is, is very powerful. This is the latest one, at least 2017. I hope uh, Apple will bring another one, a new one uh, in the near future. So as you can see, you can go to display or in this case memory and you can see the slot. In this case, this computer, it has four slots and as you can see, 16 gigs of RAM in each slot. So if you have a, a newer computer that it has everything that is sold, uh, is sold to the motherboard, sure, you're, you're not going to be able to see any of that. So I'm going to show you and have a Mac macbook pro here and you will see that so if you go about as you can see i have a macbook pro 15 inch 16 gigs of ram as you can see i don't have that option of memory so because this this computer everything this solder is not like the other one okay as you can see in this case i have a mac mini i'm going to show you so if you want to see basically though is 2012 so in this case is maxed up uh, out i upgraded with everything so i have a, a lot of space and that is the maximum amount that you're going to get in 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 ram so uh, i'll try to show you i'll try to compare it so next step uh, next Side by, side by side as you can see so here you see display storage this is my macbook so i don't i the memory is missing because everything is solder so that is all you, that you're going to see in this kind of uh, uh, computers i'll try to show you in another one let's see if we can show you so here i have a, another computer in this is a lenovo think station here we have more uh, more slots so here we have six and is the basically is the same thing so here you have the the hard drives that you can install so at least ssd that would be the best option and here you have the the ram so in this case for some reason the site seems like it's no loading it all the way or this is all they have at least available for for this kind of, of computer so I hope you have enjoyed this video. Remember, leave, leave me your comment in the section below. Click on like, subscribe to the channel and click on the little bell. So each time I upload a video, YouTube will let you know. Also, you can follow me in my other social medias. If you want to buy the class, you can do it on my website. Um, see you in the next class. Bye. Here I forgot to mention something. So here, as you can see, I have a website. I was this is because I was talking about that you can go to their manufacturer. In this case, we have an Asus motherboard. So if you go to the manual and documents, you can see what kind of RAM 
you can use in their system so as you can see you can download their manual in the language that you prefer so as you can see we have french english so in this case we prefer english so now we can go and open it up here and in this case uh, we have the pdf but we don't have much information so as you can see we have just the basic it, it will not recommend you to use certain brand, i mean certain brand or model so here we have okay you can you can use the, these speeds um, and these and it says that it support xmp and all those things so other than other than that in this manual you're not going to find much so um, usually uh, the manufacturers if you don't see the manual in the in the box usually the the user the end user usually they don't keep anything and sometimes you're going to buy a motherboard and they don't even produce the the manual so it's just to save cost or maybe because they want to go green so in this case you can download it here and just read it uh, online that's it and here we have in this case i'm going to show you another website in this case we have hp pro Agent is the gen 9 so dl380 as you can see here and we have the config uh, we have the ram that you can use at least in this system in this case we can use two microprocessors and you can see the motherboards i mean the the motherboard with the ram as you can see here in different colors so other than that you can see the, the type of RAM. In this case, we are using registered uh, DIMMs or R DIMM as we were talking in the other class. I, I remember if you see this class for the first time, I recommend you to start from the beginning so you can understand better. And here we have the other uh, type is load reduce or LR theme and here we have the per number so with the per number is great because you buy this and you are 100 percent sure that this is going to work so as uh, we were talking in, in the other classes we have here it says dual rank or single rank of of course the capacity the voltage as we were talking before uh, and everything else so with this in uh, knowing what you you can use in in the motherboard or in this in this server you are going to be certain that everything will be stable and you will you will not have any issue also here we are in amd so as you can see in this case amd.com and am4 motherboard so here you have the memory support list in this case is a pdf so if you want to see in this case they recommend a data a corsair shield skill jail and or shield or something like that a hyper x from kingston so as you can see they recommend the the model and the brand so i was looking for memory for the amd racer uh, ryzen so in this in this case you can see everything so uh, because the, depending on the CPU is the amount of RAM that you can use and maybe you will have some uh, difficulties uh, with, the, with the RAM compatibility and other things. At least 2017, this is what they say. So if you follow the manual, you should be okay. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and see you in the, in the next class. Bye.